Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you the best AI chatbot for your Discord server in 2025. And in this video it will be the AI chatbot Nermonic and I'll show you how to set it up and all the different features that it offers and how to actually use the bot in your Discord server to the best of its ability. I will have this bot linked in the description below, but what you want to do is go to Google and go to Nermonic.xyz. Once you're brought to this website, there'll be a sign in to dashboard button in the center of the screen here, which you will click and then you'll sign in with your Discord account. So make sure you are logged in with your Discord account on the Discord app on the browser. We'll just click authorize here to sign in to the bots dashboard. Then once you're in the dashboard here, you'll have to select a server. Now I've already invited it to one of my servers, but if you haven't, you just invite the bot by clicking invite bot. And then once you have it invited, you will simply click edit settings to go into the dashboard. Once you're brought to the dashboard, there'll be a bunch of different tabs on the side here, including discover, personality, customize mnemonic, and reply triggers, and welcome AI. These will be the main five tabs that I'll be covering in this video, so let's get started. Firstly, let me just explain this bot a little bit to you. Simply put, it's an AI chatbot, so you could choose a personality for the bot itself, and based off of that personality, they'll basically generate proper responses to your questions and or requests. So under the discovery tab, this is essentially pre-made uh, personalities that people have come up with uh, to actually have different types of characters. So if you go here, you could actually search pretty much any character you'd like, uh, but you could also narrow it down by different um, topics here, or you could just search through the most popular ones that are currently being used. So for example, if you wanted to use Mr. Beast, as a celebrity personality you'll just simply click on his profile and then you'll choose where you'd like to have this personality in your server uh, in other words basically it's like your bot can have multiple personalities in your server depending on the channel that it's in so for example if i set mr beast to be in the general chat if you ever talk to the bot in the general chat it'll always respond as mr beast but let's say i changed it to spongebob in the announcements channel and I talk to the bot in the announcements channel, then it would respond as SpongeBob. And if you set it to global, then it uses that personality across the entire server. So we'll just leave it as global for now and click save selected. And as you can see, basically it went to the personality tab for the bot and it basically edited its pre-made uh, bio and all sorts of traits for Mr. Beast. But you could actually create your own personality if you'd like by putting in a custom bio and it could be as long as you'd like up to 2500 characters. And you could also add your own custom traits, things they like to do, things they love, and things the they hate or whatever personality you're creating hates. And uh, basically putting all of these together, the AI will create a personality for you to talk to. Then of course on the bottom here you can choose the language but Typically, you just leave it on auto detect. Also, on the very bottom here, there's a few extra settings such as safe mode, slang, short responses, and image generations. They're pretty self explanatory, so you could decide whether you want any of these on or off. Another thing here in the bottom left is the plugin section. And if you go to it, these are bonus plugins that you could actually install onto the bot, such as their TikTok videos plugin, Video Maker plugin to actually generate AI videos and as well as the Google Images plugin, which basically lets uh, the bot uh, grab from Google to grab certain images from Google for you. So other than that though, this is the basics to setting up the bot for your server. I'll go into the other tabs soon after this, but let's actually test out how the bot actually works. So I just went to the Discord server that the bot is in. Once again, I will give it the bot role because I normally do that for bots that I add to my server. And as you can see, it sent an automatic message saying that you could always talk to me by replying or pinging me. Uh, so essentially, by replying to any message sent by the bot or simply pinging the bot will make them respond to your message. So for example, if I wanted to talk to the bot in the general channel, I could simply right click and reply to the message or ping the bot. So if I could ping the bot here and I could say whatever I like, but if I just say hello, and type it, then it will send a response. So as you can see, your generated response, it says, hey, Nermonic, how's life? Just gave away a car. And it specifically said, just gave away a car because it has the Mr. Beast personality. So it's trying to act just like how Mr. Beast 
probably would. And if you actually respond with the same response, it'll actually generate a completely different response for your message. So in this time it said, yo, just planned a crazy giveaway, gonna give away a private island, which is another thing that Mr. Beast would typically say. Uh, but generally though, you get the gist, you could talk, you could say whatever you'd like to the bot and they will generate a new response for you with AI. And as well as if you actually go and do a slash command and go to the slash commands that the bot adds, there's a few different commands here that we could actually go over. Firstly, if you do have the premium option for the bot, which I do myself, you could actually change the avatar and the name of the bot to whatever you'd like. So if we go back to the site and go to the custom nermotic tab here, we can see that we can now edit the name and the avatar. So if I change the name to let's just say Bob and click save changes, then if we go back to the server, once it's saved, we can see that the actual name changed to Bob. So if you do have the premium option for the bot, which I highly recommend, you could actually make the bot completely custom so it looks like it's just your own custom bot for your Discord server. But that aside, let's go back to the commands here and see what we got. So the next one here, we could of course go to the dashboard again, uh, but mainly I want to focus on this dedicated channel add and dedicated channel remove. Essentially, it says add a dedicated channel for Nermonic to always chat and reply in. So if I click a uh, uh, dedicated channel add and click a channel and choose it to be, let's say, the bot command channel and then click enter, then it will change the bot commands channel to be a dedicated channel where the bot will always respond in. Similarly enough, if I do slash uh, remove dedicated channel and choose the same channel bot commands, then it will remove it as a dedicated channel. Now you could also edit the personality in Discord with the command instead of going to the dashboard. So if you run the edit personality command, you could actually edit the bio here to change how its personality is formed. And you could simply just submit it here once you're done your changes and it's all saved automatically. You do not have to go back to the dashboard. Now the main two commands here is generate image and generate video. So if I wanted to generate an image, we could just do the generate image command and put in whatever prompt you'd like. Uh, so if I just say um, guy at his computer, very standard, very basic prompt, click enter, it'll generate an image. Now it might take a few seconds here, but there we go. Less than 20 seconds later, it has generated an image of a guy at his computer. And the possibilities with this is completely endless. Furthermore, if we tried the generate video prompt instead and said guy typing at his computer, another simple, uh, I guess, basis off this image, we could see what this will generate here. And we could see it generated a slightly weird one second video of a guy typing. Once again, these are AI responses, so they're not perfect. They're completely, they're actually kind of weird sometimes, but overall it does what you asked it to do, even if it's not in the, in the best way that you thought it would, but it does what it wants you to do to the best of its ability. So anyways, if we go back to the site, there is one last major tab here that I want to cover, which is welcome AI. Uh, for this one, you will need premium for this as well, uh, but once again, I highly recommend, and I'm also showing off this option. Uh, so we can see here, main setup, there is two options, send new members one direct message, and send new members one message in server channel. So if you choose send new members one direct message, this will send a message to the user with its personality that's set on the bot. So if you have the set the personality set to as Mr. Beast, it'll send some sort of generated AI message uh, in Mr. Beast's personality to the person in their DMs. Or similarly, if it was inside of a channel, you could choose the channel and select, let's say, welcome channel here if you have a welcome channel and it'll automatically send the message when someone joins that will be AI generated into the welcome channel or whichever channel that you set here. I also want to cover the support AI thing because this is actually a very important tab here. And this is essentially like ticket bots uh, where you create a support channel or some sort of channel uh, where the bot will answer different types of questions that you have based with AI results. And basically you could also check off the answer to all messages option, which will basically make the bot automatically answer to all the messages, which this could help make your tickets and all sorts of other support questions be answered a lot more swiftly. And you don't have to constantly reply to actually, um, you know, do a lot of work with. And if you actually add support information here, you could give the bot more info about your product or wh whatever your server is about. So then the bot can give a more informed answer. Uh, which is a really, really smart thing that this bot offers in terms of support. 
Anyways though guys, that is the Nermonic bot and how to use it and what it offers for your Discord server. Once again, it is one of the top AI chatbots out there for Discord and it is completely free for the most part unless you want uh, a lot of bonus options, which I do also highly recommend that you get the premium option. If you haven't already, please join my Discord server. It will be linked in the description below as well. Once again, the bot's website is also linked in the description below, so make sure to go to that link if you'd like to get the bot for your Discord server. Also, we are on track to 2,000 subscribers, and once we hit it, we'll be giving away three months of Discord Nitro in the giveaways channel. So if you do feel like subscribing, I make a lot of Discord content. So if you do want to support me, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next Discord tutorial. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.